Hey YouTube, today I thought I'd show you guys how to fix a Samsung uh, TV with a uh, power supply problem. So this TV would actually, uh, when you power it on, it would go on, click for a second, go off again, click for a second, and it would go back and forth and it, it would do this for, you know, maybe up to like a, a minute or two. Sometimes you'd see like some pink uh, dots on the screen and uh, it would always fire up, but it just sometimes it would take a long time, and sometimes it was just really, uh, I guess, uh, intermittent. But uh, let me show you how to get this, this thing off here. So, so the first thing you're going to do is I've already taken the screws off, but you're going to go around the perimeter of the of the back, and there's screws around the perimeter, and there's a. I mean, every Samsung TV is different, but uh, I got a screw back here and a screw back here, and it's pretty basic. The whole cover, back cover, just pops off, and what you're looking at is, make sure you can see that there. I'm gonna zoom in maybe a little bit here. What you're looking at is this, it's called the power supply. And uh, this is pretty common with these Samsung TVs. And uh, basically there's a couple of capacitors that actually uh, start to uh, fail in this thing. So I'm gonna show you uh, where these are at and how to fix them and make this TV work again, so. Um, yeah, this by the way, this was an expensive TV. This was like a super high contrast ratio. I think originally cost me like fifteen hundred dollars, so it's not. It was definitely on the higher end of TVs at the time I bought this. So I've had this TV for probably five years, but it was super high end at the time. So um, okay, so I'm gonna take this board off. I already normally there's some screws around the outside of it, but I've already taken the screws off. But you'll go and there's all these little. Uh, you know, wires are connected to the board, and you can just unpop them off. There's, you, there's like a little, like a little uh, clip there. So unclip it, pop it off, pull it out. What we're looking to do is, oh yeah, just to, if you're going to work on this thing, you know, make sure you unplug your your thing for at least uh, 24 to 48 hours to discharge this this big massive capacitor here. So that can uh, kind of hurt a little bit. You get shock of that thing. So okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but this capacitor is bulging and failing. This one's bulging. These two are fine, and this one's also bulging. So let me get in that. You can see them kind of. See, they're almost uh, right there. This one's actually kind of leaking, but these two are bulging, and this one right here is. Uh, so I'm going to replace those three capacitors, and I'm also I'm going to replace them with a, a higher voltage capacitor. So. This is rated at 10 volts. I'm gonna put a 16 volt capacitor in there. And they're a little bit bigger, but uh, they should be able to handle a little bit more and hopefully not fail as quickly as these ones did. So, so the next step, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna desolder this thing and uh, replace these capacitors, put the thing back together and hope it works. All right, guys, uh, now I'm on the, uh, my test bench here and I have this little tool. I mean, this is not necessary, this just makes it you know, it helps out a lot. It's a it's a tool designed to. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a tool designed to uh, take out the solder. It's a solder suction tool. Uh, it actually has its built-in own iron there, and you click this little button right here. Zoom out a little bit here. Or zoom out. It's like this. Uh, it's like a it heats it up and you can suck at the same time. So I haven't used it in a while, so I don't even know if it's going to work or not, but let's see. Okay. So if your board, this board actually has um, little marks to, it sh shows you where the negative is because all these capacitors actually are, uh, they're, uh, there's polarity, positive, negative. So on this board, there's actually a little mark on the thing that shows what the polarity is, so I know it's negative. But if yours doesn't, then uh, make sure you just uh, you know make a mark with a pen that you know what, what side is negative, what side is positive. So, all right, let me uh, start sucking the solder out so I know it's this. So I can make a quick mark so I know. Okay, it's these two. Those two.
verify, double check. It's those right there, those two right there. So hopefully this tool still works. It's been a long time since so I use this thing. Oh, a little bit. There we go. Yep, check that out. Yep, the capacitor just fell out of there. So, see? It's quite a little solder suction tool. I mean, it's not necessary. You can just hold a solder iron and, and basically pull it out from the back at the same time. But that is cool. See, the capacitor is uh, very bulged and uh, leaking. Okay, next one. Okay, and again. This didn't go long enough. More time. And the capacitor fell out. All right, I got one more to take out. I got the 1,000 microfarad capacitor. So on this, um, let me get them taken out first. This one right here. Right there. This one, the pins are at a little bit of sort of an angle, so I might have to kind of wiggle it out the back here. Yeah, the, the leads are kind of at an angle, so it's kind of keeping this thing in here. Bend those about. There we go, got it out. Okay. So, all right, so, um, the next section I'll be, uh, I got the replacement cast capacitors at a place called, uh, around here we have a place called Marvac. And they have, uh, I think the, the position of the light kind of is bad over here, but it's great over here. Um, so I actually went with a higher voltage capacitor. This one originally was rated at 10 volts. And I stepped up to 16 volts, so this should hopefully make it a little bit more reliable. It's a more robust capacitor, so. I don't know if I'm on the camera, so I'm gonna replace this 2200 with this 2200. It's a little bit bigger, but it should fit, you know, or at least be very tight. So, but uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you uh, putting the thing on there. So actually, I'm not gonna show you. Well, I'll flip it around. I'll show you, I guess. But all right, give me a second. I'm gonna fish these capacitors through the uh, board here. So hopefully, you guys can see this on the camera. I'm gonna try to position it so you can. That's where we're at, right there. Okay, so remember, just keep an eye. And remember the polarity. There's a negative and a positive side on these capacitors. So this is an electrolytic capacitor, and every one of these capacitors has a negative, negative to that white stripe right there, and a positive. So I'm going to feed these down in there and uh, make sure I have the right the polarity correct. Okay. And then go back. Make sure, making sure the polarity is correct. It's kind of pain to get the pins on there. So, and see on this board, I don't know if you can see that, but there's these little black stripes. That tells me that that's the negative side. So, all right, make sure that's on the right side. Bring the pins down. Okay, now I gotta go back. Make sure that these are pushed down. And then. You can see the pins coming through. I'm going to bend them over. That way they stay in there. Okay. I'm going to come back with my uh, little soldering gun here. Get some solder. 
and uh, can you see it then picture let's see here there we go so I'm gonna go to each little lead here and solder this thing in there okay make sure you get good contact on the pad it sucked to put this whole thing back together and it not go. Okay, go back to this compressor. Phone's ringing. Hold on. Ah. Freaking females. Okay. Okay. All right, I think we're pretty good. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just chop off these leads real quick and uh, go back and uh, put this thing back together and fire it up. So um, yeah, just a little pair of wire cutters should just snip those off. Let me show you real quick. Uh, you know, a little pair of wire cutters, you know. You don't want too much lead hanging off there. It's kind of goes as close as possible. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put this thing back together. And, uh, well, before I put the back cover on, I'm going to fire it up and uh, hopefully this thing fires on so all right I'll be back in a couple seconds okay guys uh, have the board back in and uh, I'm gonna flip this thing over and uh, power it on and see if it works okay guys uh, this is gonna be the first fire up so I'm gonna use I'm not gonna sit next to it I'm gonna use a remote and uh, in case this thing blows up or something but uh like, I, I don't fix TVs for a living, so. Um, all right, I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Okay, it's plugged in. We should have power. Oops. Now we have power. Okay, I heard it click. Now I'm going to hit the power button. Oh, it came on by itself. Hey, look at there. Huh. Before it used to just click and then go and click on, click off, click on, click off. And then sometimes you'd see like orange lights on it and pink dots and cool. That's about a $1,500 TV. So yeah, the height, the contrast ratio on this thing is super high. Um, LCD and uh, it's not LED LCD, but it's just an LCD, but it's Still, I'm going to put this in my bedroom, so cool, right on, that's how you fix them.